hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll go over the programming side of the software as you remember in our last video we already made a design and deployed it in this folder and to see the structure we just need to go back to design folder go to structure and copy this file so this file is our structure of our project so let's explain a little bit this is our main root in the root we have a canvas one in canvas we have an image one and in root we have a button one two this way you can see it it makes it easier to know your uh, widgets where they are and everything let's move to the programming so I'm going to edit the demo file let's run it directly first so if I open it it just opens my app so these they don't work so we made the image interactive so we can zoom in move it zoom out reset is right click so that works but the button does not work at all so we'll close it in this one we'll try to change the image from one to the other so what I'm going to do is I'll go to my images folder I'm going to copy these files paste them here and rename the dot one and light two let's go to the programming now so I'm going to edit the demo file this is where I need to code my software but you can include the files and make this file as a simple file and keep your code somewhere else so in here we will program the button first so in root we have a button one this is how you go to the widgets so wherever that widget is you just go by root dot button one for the image you will go root dot canvas one dot image one it makes the programming easier this way so we will bind a function so dot bind and on click we'll say lambda will take the event and change image and we can create a new function name it change image we can also define a global variable that will tell us what image we have right now so we can say that our image is We'll take our global variable here global image we'll check if image is equals to 2 then root dot canvas 1 dot image 1 dot set so set is a function to set the uh, image so we can set the image four ways we can provide a direct file link to the image we can provide a CV frame or a NPRA we can provide a pillow image and we can provide a URL but we need to configure the image to know what type of data we are providing and initially it's already configured for taking a direct link of the image so if our image is 2 we'll set the image to 1 and else we'll set the image to 2 okay let's run the file so if I click oh it didn't do anything let's go back to the code and see what mistake we made yes we didn't define the image name fully so png Start it again, change image, it works. 
parameter only works one time because we didn't change the variable also let's do that so say image is equals one Now we can change it as many times as we want. So zoom in, change, zoom out, it works out with everything. So our small application works. Now we'll go through the help file so you guys know what to find when you guys are designing your own applications. Go to download designer, click on the help file. So this is a root and pop-up options. Pop-up acts as a different window and you can fully design it as you are designing the root. And nothing function is just nothing returns false. Maximize function will on click. You can bind this function root dot maximize and it will maximize the window. Restore is if you have minimized the window some function or a timing event or anything can restore the window you can restart the whole application you can close the application you can hide the application you can show the application grab is so every widget everything has a grab function if you turn on any grab like root.grab it will take a screenshot of the whole image whole window sorry and if you say root dot canvas one dot grab it will just take the screenshot of canvas if you say root dot canvas one dot image one dot grab it will take the screenshot of the image same with the button root dot button one dot grab after is a enter function so if you want to run any function after a delay and this runs as a async queue but I prefer to use threading screen function returns the screen size bind is just to bind all the functions we'll go through the bind list later on config is what type of configuration do you want to do you can configure all the features that we did while designing in the programming also config get you can get your configuration back to you these are the menu options we'll go over on these some other video file and folder are to choose it will give you a dialog box to choose a file or choose a folder position will give you the position of any widget or the screen where it is right now and size is what what is the size width and height locate if you wanna give the values of width height left or top of for any widget but you wanna know the percentage values because once in programming mode you can only give the pixel values so you can go with any parent so if I want to give a percentage value to image 1 so I can go root dot canvas 1 dot locate and my values so if I want to locate the image to 50% 50% height and width 10% 10% top and left it will give me the values that you need to use in pixels locate reverse works a reverse way you define give these values in pixels it will give you the back values back in percentage these functions are common to all the widgets copy you can create a copy of the whole widget you can give a new name then it will like if you are copying an image you can say root dot canvas one dot image one dot copy in the name you can say image two then you can access that image with root dot canvas one dot image two you can delete a widget hide a widget show a widget bring the widget in the focus grab bind the functions config the widgets position size locate locate reverse 
each widget has its uh, configuration list. So these are the config things that you can config in canvas and scroll items. Background, border color, border size, resize, and these are the can canvas add-ons that only works on the canvas. Shadow size, shadow color, and these are scroll add-ons. They will only work on the scroll. Do you want like the width of the scroll bar? And do you want the vertical or horizontal scroll bar on in the starting? But if something is already going out of the window, these scroll bars will appear automatically. You can clear the whole uh, container. Everything will be deleted in it. You can refresh it and find items. Like if you add a item that does not exist in our widget set, canvas item set, then you need to bind them directly from here. The same widget items you can directly create from here also. If you don't add them in the starting, like root.canvas1.line, it will create a new line. So you can define all the configuration and use that line as you want. works with everything and if they have their own separate functions they will be here like in polyline you can add a new point and remove a point same for polygon you have add function and a remove function set in canvas items you can set a text value with dot set value So image has a function where you can set the image and these are the functions that we were talking about so if it's a pillow image you need to turn in config like canvas oh sorry widget dot config in the brackets pill equals to true that means you're loading a pillow image same for array is equal to true you're loading a cv or np frame url is equals to true that means the image is coming from url these are the settings for the frame so this way you can go through all the widgets here and they will give you all the options that they have Let's get to the bind function. These are the bind functions. The cursor values are just true or false. So if you want a hand cursor on something, like if you move it to the button and you want the hand rather than the arrow, the hand, so you can say root dot in button one dot con bind in the brackets cursor hand equal to true. Same as this value, cursor underscore hand, cursor underscore loading, cursor underscore arrow, these all works. These are the bind specific functions also, like you want something on show, on hide, on close, on resize, and if they work in all widgets, they don't have anything, but these are specific to some widgets. So they have a widget list to them like on change will work in select switch so if you click a switch it will trigger the on change function if you have already binded the function somewhere these are for all like they work on binds for widgets and as well as the canvas items so like on click on release on double click on triple click on drag on middle drag right drag hover in hover out so you can create an application as you want it will work these are the configs if you want to know what configuration that means so background is a background color and it has to be a hex value and it can work with the html direct values also but i always prefer hex values foreground border color border size if you want the window to resize or not 
so you can go through all these and if you see any config setting in the upper like configs of uh, any widgets like here like in compound if you want more info about it it will be down here in these configs so you can see what everything means like secure it only works on entry so as you can see this is a secure value for entry and if you turn the secure value on the entry will not show the actual characters it will show the stars so you can protect your passwords so this is the help file you can go through and that's all for the programming i'll make some small videos later on for each widget and how to configure them stay tuned thank you